Hi there, this is Unmesh from Pixel Perfect, and today I'm going to share with you a crazy fun trick to create abstract, colorful backgrounds in Photoshop. So let's jump straight in. So here we are in Photoshop, and all you have to do, you have to create a new document. So click on Create New, and for the purpose of this example, I'm going to create something low resolution so that it happens quickly. So let's choose 100,000 pixel grid, or you can simply go to Art and Illustration and choose whatever you like, or you can dial it in. So I'm going to choose 1,000 pixel grid. Hit create. Now this is a simple pixel grid, nothing complex right here. So the trick is in the blend mode. Let's create a new layer and choose the gradient tool. Okay, choose any color that you like, doesn't matter. Let's choose this color or you can change mix and match colors totally. That's totally upon you. Then first of all, let's fit the canvas to screen by pressing control or command zero. Change the blend mode of the gradient tool from normal to difference. Now, let's have a look at it. Let's create the first gradient. Ah, very simple gradient, but having the same color selected, create the second gradient and you'll be blown away. Let's do this. Have a look. Not very exciting, right? Exciting? Exciting? Just keep on doing this. Just go crazy with this and just keep on doing it. And what you can also do, you can change the gradient types, radio gradients, or something like this to make it more interesting. Just keep on doing it. What I would suggest is just keep on doing it with the linear gradient right now. Okay. And you can change colors at any moment that you like. You can zoom out. Just go crazy here. Very exciting. Something to try out right now right now. Once you have done all of that, see how detailed and how nice this looks. Let's zoom in quite a bit. Now, once you're satisfied with all of this, change the color. Let's choose something like, let's see, this color. How about that? And start playing with this thing. Just start playing. Exciting. Now, you can use this as a background if you'd like to. Maybe dial down the saturation and then use that as a background. Come back to this color and let's choose something like this color. And this time, change the color to probably let's say bluish blue to let's select yellow color it okay you can just play with it as much as you like go crazy with this now at the end to make it look more interesting you can do this you can create lines with short gradients so you can make a gradient something like this you can make one more right here something like that you can change it to three colors and do it right here, just like this. Makes it interesting. Also, you can choose this star gradient, and then you can, with the three colors, you can create some few stars here and there. Now, so this is complete madness that you can do with this thing. At the end, if you wanna use it as a background, you might wanna just create a hue saturation, and then you wanna play with the saturation, wow. Even if you make it black and white, it's very exciting. So that's how you can very easily create those creative abstract backgrounds for your photos, portraits, or whatever. This was just a fun thing. Just keep in mind the blend mode, and the blend mode is difference. That's pretty much it for this video. I hope this video helped you in some way or the other. I just hope that. And if it did, make sure to give us a like, and also don't forget to subscribe, and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you, my friend, don't miss any other future tip, trick, or tutorial. I would like to take this moment to thank all these nice and amazing people for supporting this channel on Patreon and helping keep Pix Imperfect free for everybody forever. Thank you for all your support. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating. Hey.